And that's why I'd love to talk about books. So you can't choose your family. We're born together. We're the same blood, same. You can't always choose your friends because of people who were drawn together. There's one thing, though, you do choose, your books. And so several years ago, I got an idea. I would go to these meetings, and I would hear them talk about what Earl Nightingale did, or what Leia Coca did, or what Ross Perot did, or what Zig Ziglar did, or what Dr. Norman Seville did, or what this, and you know what I used to think after about the 50th time? I said, listen, I know I didn't do much, but you gotta remind me every time I come in here, you better be glad I didn't quit. You're lucky I'm here. And you know what, I, th I thought, I'll bet you there's a lot of other people like me who get tired of hearing, they did this, they did that, and be reminded, I know I'm nothing, I didn't do nothing. You say, you are something. Well, it seemed like I'm nothing. When they talk to me, they talk to me like I'm nothing. Then they tell me I'm something. But I, I got the idea. I'm going to write to Dr. Peel. I'm going to write to Zig Ziglar. I'm going to write to Aya Koken and Russ Perot. I'm going to write to the coaches, and I'm going to say, we all know what you did. People tell us every time we go to a meeting. Somebody's telling me what uh, Aniram Jetson did, or William Carey did, or David Livingston did. And I wrote these people, and I said, I'd like you to share with me, just in 200 words or so, what was one of the great influences in your life. And so our link letter. And each of these people began to respond. Raymond Berry of the uh, New England Patriots. And guess what they wrote back, each one? Each one wrote back in about 200 to 250 words, what influenced your life, and guess what it was in every case? A book. A book. I knew it all the time. You don't think I'd ask them a question if I didn't know the answer to you. <laughs> I knew what they were going to say. They did. However, there were two or three of my heroes who wrote back and said, I believe the greatest thing in life is health. One of the most wonderful heroes of my life said, I never read any books. Health. And I thought, how sad. How can you have health without exercising your mind? And how can you exercise your mind without reading?